Good day folks and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joan and today in this video we're going to configure a VPN tunnel from the Cisco Meraki MX security appliance to the non-Meraki MX. In this time from the Cisco side they call it non-Meraki VPN peer or non-Meraki VPN tunnel. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go to the security and SD1 in the dashboard and VPN settings. We're going to go all down to organization wide VPN settings. And we're going to put all the fields that we need for the other VPN, VPN peer to configure that a specific VPN tunnel. So let's go to the dashboard and let's get into it. <laughs> Now that we are in the dashboard, we're going to configure a non-Meraki VPN tunnel with a non-Meraki VPN peer. To achieve that, we're going to go to the security appliance, the section security and SD1, and site to site VPN. In this section, there are going to be two different places. After enable the hub, we're going to see all the options for VPN. The first section is going to be for auto VPN, which is the proprietary Meraki VPN configuration. And the second section will be the organization-wide settings where you can configure the non-Meraki VPN peers. First, we have to go to these VPN settings in the local networks to select which subnets we would like to advertise to the other VPN peers. In this time, we're going to select the internal subnet and the server subnet. So these two subnets are going to be able to be reached from the other VPN side. Going down, we can click add a peer and here we're going to see all the fields that we have to fill out in order to create the tunnels. So based on these requirements that you can see here, we're going to fill out and create the VPN tunnel to the non-Meraki VPN peer. We're going to start putting here the name of our tunnel, the IP way. We're going to put the public IP address from the other VPN peer, 46. The remote ID, this is an optional value so if you have the remote id that is different to the public ip address you can fill that out but it's completely optional the private subnet from the other side for us to reach out to that subnet and here is going to be all the ipsec phase phase one and phase two so based on what requirements we know that this has to be a yes 256 it's going to be shell one it's going to be df one the last time in seconds is the same which is great now we're going to phase two phase two is going to be aes 256 so we remove these options authentication is going to be sha one so we remove these options the pfs group is going to be off which is great and the lifetimes is the same after having that configuration just click update and the pre-share key is the it way this availability option is going to depend of how many MXs do you have in the network. If you want this VPN peer to establish a VPN tunnel to all the MXs on the network, you can leave this option as all networks. Or if you want to select just one specific MX to establish the VPN tunnel with this peer, you can create a network tag, put assign that tag to this MX and just put the tag here to configure the VPN tunnel just with that VPN peers. After finish all this configuration, we have to go to save the changes and confirm that the configuration is there. The internal is on, the server is on, and all the configuration BP and peer is on. And that's how you configure a non-Meraki BP and peer in the security appliance MX from Cisco Meraki in the dashboard. If you have any trouble configuring this or you have any error message, feel free to put your comment below. I'm more than happy to help you. In addition to that, I'm going to put all the documentation that is coming from the Miraki documentation portal for your help as well. So that's how you configure VPN settings in the Miraki way. See you in the next one.